Hey guys, I thought I'd, I'd share with you the block diagram that I've used to build my solar power system and integrate it into my home power system. So I'm just going to explain to you what I've done. And this is not a recommendation that you do what I did. Uh, and this is not a how-to uh, discussion. I'm just showing you what I've done. So I'm not suggesting you do, do what I did. But this is what I've done. Okay, before I started my solar power system, I had my utility meter. It's still in the same place. And I'll do a walkthrough on the outside uh, showing the actual boxes at a later time. I had my utility meter. And it fed to an automatic transfer switch. This was a SC rated switch with 200 amp main. A Generac 22kW generator is uh, also a source into that switch. And there's a story behind that for another time. And then from that switch, I fed to a panel that was right adjacent to this automatic switch. And from there, I went to my house, which was about probably 100 feet away, plus to a barn and a pool house and some other things. Okay, so my intention was to develop my solar power system and put it into my electrical system between my utility meter and my automatic transfer switch. So to do that, I had to install a new 200 amp main panel for my meter to go to. And from that 200 amp main panel, I feed to one of the source sides of a manual transfer switch. And the output of that manual transfer switch fed back to my automatic transfer switch. And then this stayed the same. So when I'm in grid mode, power comes through my utility meter into this breaker box. They said feed through lugs. This feeds to the source, one of the sources for this manual transfer switch. When I'm in the utilities mode, then the power just goes from the meter into this breaker box out to this transfer switch, to the automatic transfer switch and back to my house. So from that standpoint, I could be right back where I was before I started my solar power system. Okay, so I, I built my solar power system then. Uh, I have a 200 amp breaker panel. I'm calling it my inverter input panel. This is where I feed the grid into my inverters. I originally designed this system around a grow watt, but I've modified it for the solar arc. So I have 225 amp breakers. One feeds the solar arc 15K master. The other feeds the solar arc 15K slave. On the load side of these inverters, I feed back feed into another set of 125 amp breakers and then back feed out of a 200 amp breaker to the alternate source for this manual transfer switch and then when this manual transfer switch is in the alternate source which I call my solar source then power comes from the inverters through this panel to this switch, then back to the automatic transfer switch and on to my house. Uh, so that's how I'm interjecting, or that's how I'm interwiring my Solarks. Now I have a 200 amp breaker in this main panel here that feeds this breaker, this panel. And actually this is on the exterior wall of my uh, metal storage building 
and this is on the interior wall. They're really back to back. So the grid comes in to this panel from 225 amp breakers. I run one aught copper, one circuit to the 15K master, one circuit to the 15K slave. And then I have two sets of one aught back feeding into 125 amp breaker for the master and 125 amp breaker for the slave. And then out a 200 amp breaker to this manual transfer switch. So I can select with this manual transfer switch, utility in the up position or solar in the down position. If I wanna bypass all this solar stuff, I just switch back up to the grid, just switch it up. Okay, now on my Solarks, the solar power, I have, you have basically have two sources of power coming in or I guess you could say three. You have the grid coming in, which we just talked about. You also have the PV arrays, which I have three uh, circuits, source circuits coming back from my array. And each source circuit has 14, 445 watt panels. And I think the... Uh, Maximum point power is like 20 amps or close to 20 amps. I'd have to look it back up. I don't remember. But the uh, open circuit voltage is 350 volts. I remember that. I don't remember what the what the current is right now. I don't remember. But anyway, I've got three of those. And I have a combiner box, which I've showed you in another video out here on this array where all these circuits come in and then I transition to underground direct burial aluminum because it's about 425 feet from here to here. So I come from my array to the combiner box and then when I get to my metal building I have another box with a set of disconnects and lightning arresters or surge protectors and a couple other things. And from there, I come into the PV input. Two of the circuits come into the master, and one comes over to the slave. So that's my second power source coming into the inverters. I'm using number 10 PV wire at the array, number four aluminum in the ground, and then when I come out of the ground and hit the uh, disconnect box on the outside of my store, uh, C can, my metal building, I transition back to number 10 copper, and that's what comes in to each of the Solarks. Okay, and then the battery, which acts as a, you know, it's a storage device and also a power source because I'm going to charge the battery from my PV array. I could also charge it from the grid, but I don't want to do that. Uh, not with my the scheme that I'm using. So I charge the battery, and this is a 15 EG4 40 volt 5.12 kilowatt hour batteries. I bought these from Signature Solar. They're working good. Anyway, there's 15 of them, and they're bust, and I have a 2 alt, I mean a 4 alt copper run from the battery bank for each Solark. So there's two 4 alt copper runs from the battery bank back over to my inverters. One set, positive and negative, goes to the master. One positive and negative goes to the slave. And if you'll look at one of my other videos, I discussed about how the internal wiring of the Solark 15K, or how I accomplished that. So that's basically what I've got in a nutshell. Uh, a utility company that serves us 
the great guys. I know them. I worked for them quite a few years back, and uh, I worked for them for about ten years. They're a good bunch of people, a good company. Uh, so I've not had any problems at all with my utility company. I added this breaker panel. I added this manual transfer switch. This automatic transfer switch was already in place. And this 200 amp panel was already in place. And then all the panels inside my house and elsewhere were in place. And I could talk about some of those in this generator uh, stuff at a later time. All right, and then inside my my uh, C-CAN, my Connex or whatever you want to call it, I have this inverter input panel. All right, next to it, I have my inverter output panel. This feeds to the Solarks. The Solarks feed to the output panel. The PVs feed to the inverters, to the Solarks. And the battery bank connects to the Solarks to where I can either charge the batteries or discharge the batteries. So that's my uh, that's my block diagram. This is what I built off of. Now I'm not showing the individual wires. This is just a grouping of wires. Like for example, uh, coming from the inverter input panel, there's 125 amp breaker and each one of those 125 amp breakers and feeds going to the solar has two one alts for L1, L2, one one alt neutral and one number six ground. And that runs from here to here. So that's what I got. I'll share with you at another time. Uh, do a walkthrough of the actual panels and maybe how I got them hooked up because this is my first panel for my utility meter so at this spot at this panel my neutral and my ground are bonded together and nowhere else so I had to modify my wiring at the automatic transfer switch because before I started this was my first panel from my meter this was a service entrance rated switch and my neutral and ground were bonded here so I had to remove that bond because I was now bonding over here everywhere else the neutral and the ground are not connected So, at any rate, that's the way I've done it. And if you got some questions, put them in the comments. And one day I'll get out there and actually do a walkthrough and show you what each of these panels are. All right. Enjoy your day.